Hi everyone, Patrick Sattler with NDN Software here, and today I want to give you a quick look at one of NDN's most popular features, and that's our automatic member sizer. After you've run your analysis on whatever structure you're building, this tool reviews the results, checks those results against any one of the building codes contained in NDN that you choose, US, EU, Australian, British, and recommends member sizes to ensure that your structure runs at peak efficiency. Let's take a closer look. This high part model has been given all of its initial material and section properties. It's been shaped. Five load cases have been added. We have a pre-stress and dead load case, a uniform wind uplift, a side wind, an end wind, and a uniform snow load case. The analysis has been run. We have all the results here in the post processor. and we're now ready for member sizing. For this example, we'll focus on sizing of the cables. This is a good structure for this as it contains three types of cable assemblies. We have tie cables at each end of the structure, edge cables running around the perimeter of the membrane, and edge post cables on each side, all of which have been assigned to their own layer. Currently, all cables are 12 millimeter wire rope and were assigned prior to shaping. We now want to find out how efficient this cable size is based on our applied loads. Let's go to the post processor and into member design. This is where we'll size the cables. As you can see, we can also size struts, beams, and even our membrane. If we click on the flag, the design parameters window pops up, and this is where we can choose which building code to use for sizing. If we're using US code, we can switch between ASD and LRFD with just the click of a button. We can also choose to size based off the analysis cases or load combinations. We also have the ability to select different material sets in the sizing process as well. To determine what our cable sizes should be, we'll play with some experimental trial sizes. I'll initialize the process, and you can see all of our cables are currently 12 millimeter wire rope. NDN will guide us towards an efficiency ratio for all members of 0.8 to 1.01. This way, we'll know our structure is safe, while at the same time knowing we're not going to be wasting money on overbuilt components. If I go ahead and I check the efficiency of our existing cables, we can see our perimeter cables are too small, they're highlighted in red, they're going to need to get larger. Our tie cables at each end of the structure are dark green. They are larger than they need to be, so they're probably going to get bumped down. And our edge post cables look pretty good. We can now click size, and in this case, sticking with wire rope, NDN is recommending new cable sizes for every assembly. A 14 millimeters for the perimeter cables, 11 millimeter for the edge post cables, and only 7 millimeters for the tie cables. Let's check these new sizes, and yeah, these look like they give us peak efficiency. To go ahead and accept NDN's recommendations now, and update our material and section properties in the model itself, we simply need to go ahead and click Update. Now, just one final thing we need to do. Since we've changed the section properties of our cables, we need to rerun our analysis and recheck the member sizes to make sure everything holds up. It's not uncommon, especially with larger structures, for this process to be repeated a few times in order to hone in on peak efficiency for all members. So let's rerun our analysis. Go back and recheck our sizes. And yes, everything looks good. Looks like we're running at peak efficiency. I hope you found this useful, and if you have any more questions or would like any more information, email us at info at ndnsoftware.com, check out our website at ndnsoftware.com, or check us out on LinkedIn or Instagram. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.